What's up guys, it's your boy Dash, David, or Eddie, whichever you want to call me. And today I have a different video for you guys because I really want to talk about it for the past few days or a week. Anyway, and what I wanted to say is that, I mean what I want to talk about is basically EA overall, their intentions, coin selling, coin promoting, my perspective of things that work in FIFA this year and past year I guess since I started in FIFA 14. In this video, I hope to explain everything that is possible and in the shortest manner. I think the video is going to last about 20 minutes. So sorry for that. And I'll post links in the description of EA Terms of Service. I'll post print screen on the screen of different things. And the first thing I'm actually going to explain to you is how does like since they tried to ban certain things and they closed the weapon down, what they tried to stop. So if you go to a trans the transfer market, you see that like he tried to buy Aguero as an example, and he will cost about let's say 290, 290, 280k. And if you want to have the quickest and the most guaranteed sale, you would want to sell him for about 270k. So if he's 281k and you want to sell him, you will sell him for about 270k which affects the price of the player which drops it down again by a certain amount because people people won't buy players like 300k 300k plus I guess so you're not going to have people buying players for 300k plus which is like they won't buy them for this amount of money and what it does, it affects the game in the certain way that all these big players will get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. And since the players get cheaper, also coins get cheaper. But we'll talk about this in, a, in the future. So then, how it affects the game. Since you have the web app, people have like sent or used bots that will buy the cheapest players on the market and then sell them for a high price. Which is again, then it makes the price of the player again high. So let's say if I had a grower, I post the bot, sell him, he's gonna, someone's going to sell him for 260k, my bot will buy him straight away as soon as he's off. For the reason that, he, they will ca they will, then they will make profit of this player, about 30, 20k profit, 50k profit, anything. So what this happens, when EA closed the web app down, they basically tried to prevent cheating by selling bots and all of that, which is, I guess, I guess it's farming, some some form of farming coins. And I guess this could be it for this section of the video, and then for the next bit, part of the video, I will talk about EA's, I guess, prices of coins, points, and like, why they try to prevent people from buying coins. Alright, so I'm gonna hop on in there, basically store, tell you the price and how everything works. All right, so we're gonna start with the normal bronze packs and just let it flow quickly. All right, so if you play for FIFA Ultimate Team, which you probably do, or you don't, whichever, you know the certain packs, which is always like the bronze, gold, and silver. Silver, bronze, all right, whichever. You have the bronze, silver, and gold packs. And these are the price of the bronze packs, 400 coins and 750 coins, and there's no fee for points because it's too cheap to buy, so they don't really need to buy, po uh, make it for coins. I mean, points. Sorry for being so out of place. So they try to, they, they didn't have to make it with point, fee for points value because it's so cheap anyway. So then you have the silver po silver packs, which is 50 points for the normal silver pack, then you have 75 points for the premium silver pack. Then last you have the gold packs, which is 100 points for the normal gold pack, and then 150 points for the premium gold pack. Then you have the promo packs, which you usually have a silver upgrade, and then a gold upgrade. And you have the other promo packs, like Team of the 100k packs, 50k packs, like here, rare gold pack. And then you have the FIFA points, which is the main thing I'm going to talk about. But before that, you're going to have EA Sports as a ticket. And what they also do is like they tend to give you this nice offer which is get access to 24 gold premium packs as well as 20% off future FIFA points purchases when you subscribe to EA Sports Season Ticket conditions and restrictions apply. The, um, pr the price of the EA Season Ticket is about 16, I think it's 17, 18 quid or about under 20 quid anyway. And then you have the FIFA points 
which is the main thing that EA tried to promote by getting rid of all the coin sellers. So if you can see, for the 79p, you get 100 FIFA points, which gives you only one pack, one normal gold pack, not the premium one, it gives you one normal pack. Probably for the 80p, I think you're going to get, uh, since they made for certain EA, I mean certain coin sellers, sell 1k for 6p. So I guess you can time about 80 and you get about 80k. Right, that's going to give you about 10 packs. So for the price of 80p, you're going to get 10, no, 8 packs, something like that. Which is amazing. So instead of getting 1 pack, you can get under, I guess, 8 gold premium packs, which cost 150 FIFA points. Then you're going to have the last offer, which is 12,000 FIFA points. It usually costs actually about 90 to about 100 quid. Since I have season pass, I get 20% off. <clears throat> and now, if you think about it, for 100 pounds, you or I think that's going to be about 100. 180, 190 dollars. So for this amount of money, you can buy nearly 13 mil on certain websites. If you find a good website, a good reliable website, you can get this. You can for 100 quid, you'll be able to get 10 mil, or at least 7 mil, at least 7 mil on a good website. And for so for 12,000 points, you're gonna get about 100. 10 about 110 packs 120 under and under packs so you're gonna get something about this area amount of packs then if you buy let's say 7.5 mil worth of coins you're gonna get a lot lot more packs you're gonna get about a thousand packs for the same amount of value that you're gonna get 150 packs so this is why people tend to buy coins, because EA are being so expensive, people do not buy their DLC or their in-game value because it ruins the game and I'll use me myself as an example, FIFA 13 I first started playing the game, I spent 600 worth pounds, 600 worth of pounds in packs and I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't get anyone, I did not get anyone. I think the best pair I got was Aguero in a pack, which was an 88 rated at the time, and this was the best thing I got out of 600 pounds of packs. And then the second, I mean, the next stage of the video is basically why people now buy packs. I mean, why they buy coins. So as you know, it's easier to buy coin. I mean, coins. It's easier to buy coins because they're cheaper and far. Well, obviously, points will be faster because they got straight from the bank. But coins are far cheaper, and I guess that could be more reliable because if you don't want to buy packs, you can just buy a player that you want. So let's say I'll buy 500k coins for I don't know the price of let's say seven quid. Right, like seven quid. Yeah, I'll spend seven quid on 500k, and for this amount of money, I can buy Ilya Toure and Aguero. If I find a good deal for both, I'll buy, I'll buy both. We can get Di Maria and Ilya Toure or Noya, whichever you want to get for underneath the price of 500k which is why people would want to tend by these players like by coins for coins you can get whatever you want you can get players, contracts, anything in packs you only get players that EA chose for you and the items that EA chose for you so if if you want to buy a or if you want to get a fitness card you're not going to get one unless you pack it or you buy it for your own coins that's about two games or three games, whichever. So you have to play three games to get one fitness card. Or if you want to get another player though. Because fitness cards cost about 600 coins plus. Or something like that. So, right, you're going to get that in two games. Your player's going to get tired. So you're going to have to buy a fitness card after two games or three games. And you're not going to be able to get your player as fast as possible. So what we are trying to do is they try to get rid of all the coin sponsors. And this is the next stage of the video again. EA say that coin I would 
literally post like I'll put the screenshots of what I'm gonna read about now. So I'm gonna read what I'm gonna put on the screen now, if that makes sense. Anyway, so the coin buying and selling. This is from the EASports.com, FIFA News 2014, Team Kong selling buying bans, blah blah blah. So this is the coin buying and selling section. Buying and selling coins is not authorized and amounts to cheating in FIFA Ultimate Team. Buying coins, selling coins, or promoting coins selling violates our terms of service and if caught will result, will result in a foot account ban or even a full EA account ban. Either immediately or after a warning if or foot club reset. Engaging in these activities can result in your entire foot club foot account and FIFA online access being banned. Since February 2014, we've banned hundreds of thousands of FIFA 14 and FIFA 15 accounts for coin selling and buying. Our goal is to educate our fans about the dangers of coin selling and buying while informing all, all players of our terms of service and ban process. Now, if you think about this, it's kind of bullshit because if you think about it, it ruins the fun. You cannot basically build your own dream team unless you buy packs or you trade your way into it right I'll give them a part of it that they should not make this game as easy but people also like to play the games nice and easy they try to like let's say you have a person's 17 18 19 plus they work they want to just like a bit of free time nice and chill they either they wouldn't buy points because they want to buy a team that will make it fun for them. So let's say I want to try out Ronaldo. Right, I'm going to buy five mil, six mil, whatever he costs. I'm going to try out Ronaldo. I get to try out Ronaldo rather than wait and spend thousands of thousands, probably pounds, before I actually get him. Unless I get really lucky and he loves me, I will get him in a pack. Other than that, if I want to have a nice fun play time, I will just buy a team I want to get for about a mil, which. Pretty much will give me a banging spot on BPO, BBVA squad for a mil. Benzema's cheap, the only two players that you're actually going to spend a lot of money on in the BVA is Bale and Neymar. That's it really. If you want to get like a decent, really good, cheaper version of a proper BVA squad without messing with Ronaldo, obviously. So people who want to enjoy the game, they will buy coins because it's easier and it's more reliable because they have a larger of a variety of options available for themselves. But now there's the ban process. So the first offense is a warning. You just get an email and an in-game message. Then you have the second offense which is a yellow card, you have a FUT club reset and FIFA points returned. Then the third offense which is obviously a red card, you get a permanent FIFA online ban. So you never be able to play FIFA again unless you create a new account. But and this is for the coin buying and promoting section. However, it's treated differently for YouTubers as the person said, because he's a YouTuber he gets a straight red card, which is just like permanent online banners to create a new account and all of that. And then you have the coin selling and farming, which is a straight red, it's a permanent online ban for all EA games. And in my opinion, it's a bit stupid to ban someone for all EA games rather than for just one. Because if you play FIFA and you cheated in FIFA, you cheated in FIFA, you don't have really like Battlefield who's gonna have a lot of coins that you can buy packs from and you're gonna open, I don't know what, gun packs or something. They don't have that. So that's stupid. And it, it literally takes out customers from the game. Because if, let's say, someone does not want to create a new account, and they love playing NBA and love playing Battlefield online, they won't be able to and they won't buy the game next year because it literally bans them from everything from EA overall which is like literally all the future games and all the past ga games and all the recent games. So that's a bit stupid because it kind of ruins their own business. Alright, I get you farmed, that's a bit of cheating, you can deserve that. But if you say sell coins, that's nothing bad to be honest because if you're a trader and you trade away to 100 mil coins, you basically tested out all the teams and you got nothing to do now. You're not going to keep the coins because that's just work gone and wasted. You might just as well sell them. You can either sell them to a coin website or you can sell them to your mates or you can sell them on eBay, Amazon, anything, whichever you, your imagination takes you. 
And that's where I think it's a bit stupid because if you have so much coins and you have nothing to do with it, you just got bored of it. What's the point of you working hard to get all the coins and then you got nothing to do with it? You're gonna have to keep them, they all go to waste, worthless. We can sell them, let's say, for I don't know, 100 quid. That still makes you, it gives you a bit of money. And then I will try now, and now I will post the other part, which is I guess the, I will literally post a print screen of the band process and the, like the whole section underneath, which is to check if your account has been banned, please access your EA Sports Football Club alerts from FIFA 15 main menu for, for notification. An email will also be sent to your origin email address within 24 to 72 hours of action being taken, including an account ban. If you believe you are wrongly banned, you can dispute your ban. Blah, 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 there's a link saying here. So this is, I guess, the section for the banning process, and it's literally stupid because they treat people differently. I say, you're a YouTuber, you're gonna get banned straight because they don't like you because you promote coins. Now, I will talk about this in, a, in the later part of the video quickly. I will just notice it, which is about how YouTubers actually shape the game. Right, the next thing is promoting and coin selling sites. The promotion of coin selling websites is also against our terms of service. If you see a video that promotes coin selling, please report it along with the gamers PSN slash Xbox gamertag or origin ID so you can investigate <laughs> at FIFA playfair at EA.com. Then you have the risks of buying coins, which is some gamers choose to buy coins in order to gain an upper hand in FUT. However, buying coins diminishes the environment of work for all players, creates an unfair advantage and impacts the balance of the game. Now, just this little paragraph has more bullshit in it than EA itself. If you don't know why, it's basically that it d does not ruin the fun for gamers because it actually makes it more fun. Would you rather spend hundreds of pounds or dollars for Points which might not give you anything, or would you rather spend it for coins and actually try out the player that you ever that you always wanted to play with? Like for me, before I got lucky with a Messi in a pack or Team of the Messi in a pack, was always my dream in FIFA to play with Ronaldo and Messi to see how they are, to see if they're worth it. Honestly, they did shit for me anyway, and I could be and I was only able to do it because I was buying FIFA coins. I bought coins to open packs because it was cheaper for me and it gave me a more variety and if let's say I would have leftover coins I could keep it for a next pack or I could keep it for a player there you go that's the answer for it then it does not create an arm for advantage because to be honest if you don't even buy coins all you need is about 50k to build the sweatiest squad in the game which is of the attack Dumbia, Javinia, Ibarra there you go you win all the games basically the Serie A squad is the most OP squad this year because of the attack, because of the defense and the midfield. Because you have po you have players like Pogba, like Hernanes. He's actually really good at free kicks. And then you have players like we have all the players. You have Pjanic, and they're all OP because they're from Serie A. And then the next product states participating in coin buying can be unsafe. Some coin sellers have been found to be involved in phishing and account compromise activities. We are not. I never have been affiliated with any coin seller or coin selling websites and cannot take responsibility for the personal information being compromised as a result of any transaction you undertake with these sites. Please follow these steps to keep your foot account as safe as possible on origin setting a new security question and registering for two factor authentication will also greatly improve the safety of your account. Now this is again this is more bullshit than EA itself again because like Nathanfer said Himself and uh, Roadshow have been hacked, and what pissed me off and them off, well, it pissed them off more, but it pissed me off as well because you basically state in your own terms of service that if you agree to the terms of service, they will keep your private information private. So, which means they won't be able to give away your home address, phone number card details blah 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 and if you and if you know they said it in a video I'll link I will link the two videos from the Panthers and Bud Shaw in the description and I'll link this I guess thread 
of EA. Terms of service in the description as well. I'll try to post as many links as possible. So what they said and what EA did when Team of the Year was out, that's my opinion. When Team of the Year was out, it was basically when the most accounts were leaked from by EA. And I remember my mate like messaging me to be careful because tons of people who actually packed all the Team of the Years and sold them and have all the coins have now been hacked because EA has given out information to them. So basically, they broke the human right of privacy by giving out personal information of other people. That means you have people actually assaulting their houses, like, right? we found out where he lives, I'm gonna assault him, I'm gonna come to his house and say, by this time you're whatever, depends, whatever the case you want to think of. So basically, right now, they broke their own terms of service and they broke their human right to privacy. That's stupid, you have fucking company, you should enforce your own rules. This is why people don't literally listen to EA because, and it doesn't affect them because they know they won't get caught, caught by EA for doing this stuff and they basically don't care because if EA destroys their own rules why should we enforce something that they, are, they literally don't listen to. I don't get my uh, account details shown off and since a lot of people have watched videos from Nepenthes and from Road to Shore on how EA given out their personal information this right there makes your company look bad and makes a lot of people not buy the game next year because they don't feel safe with basically you having their information in your hands and this I guess this could like now I can link up to how youtubers actually shape the game youtubers as you know they promote coin sellers promote everything based on FIFA they play the game they make it seem nice this is why people buy the game and this is what happens they treat youtubers differently in a bad way and when in reality it's youtubers actually make the game more sales because right i'm gonna watch let's say i'm not a fifa player i never played fifa i'm gonna watch someone like ksi minimental or the Pentas or tilsync anyone and we're like oh my god this game is fun they make it fun you can have so much opportunities i'm gonna buy it let's go you go to a shop you buy it because you're influenced by a third party and then you're gonna get and then since youtubers increase the amount of money and purchases that ea has got from the people they're still gonna treat them like shit and they're gonna give them give the information out right we don't care they helped us uh, sell the game yeah we're just gonna give out the personal information you are fucking idiots i'm sorry but you are just the biggest money holes ever you get money from people who actually promote your game and you're still gonna actually treat them bad because they promote coins which makes the game more fun which you actually talk about shit you're on fucking terms of service anyway i think that's it for all the terms of service and i guess i try to try to put as much information as possible and hopefully you guys enjoy the video i'll try to post good quality videos video soon again so hopefully you guys enjoy this and i'll see you soon next time peace